So we get two two picks from this. Two picks from this pack. I like a Tolerian Academy, huh? Especially when we're getting more power than usual. And then I'm looking at Preordain, Inti, and Basalt Monolith for my second pick up here. Maybe Trigon Mage is good in this format. I think Preordain's got to be better, right? Like people actually play Preordain and Vintage still sometimes. You know what, Bradley? Pick two. I feel like Gut kills people a lot. And then just take Bobble to go with the Academy. Nothing super exciting so far. Oh, we could take Skydiver, actually. Maybe Skydiver Bobble makes more sense. I do like how fast Gut kills people, though. I think that's underrated in this format. Just killing people quickly. Get a wheel up in this. And then I think I like top with a card for the Academy, hum. Hey, here we go. Soul Ring and then maybe Ragavan to stay on color. I mean, Shieldred's got to be busted here, right? Shieldred, oh, let's take Narset. Soul Ring, Narset. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Supreme is out for a week. I guess I'll take two Moxin. That's a thing to do. I kind of like Burst Lightning for opposing Hull Breachers. And maybe Spell Pierce. Like, just take the interaction. I literally closed that program earlier. I don't know why it's giving me a pop-up. The Volcanic Island's mighty tempting. There's also, like, Mana Vault plus Time Spiral here. Time Spiral being pretty good with Academy. Oh, let's splash a fourth. Too bad there's no fixing in this pack, huh? I guess there's Xander's Lounge. Oh, just desk. Let's desk. A little mana drain action. I could just take two counters, huh? Mana drain miscalc here. How am I doing? We're just over halfway through. Cool. I'm going to take this Talisman because it double fixes for fourth. And then I think I'm just taking Counterspell. A lot of nice counters here. I almost like Enlightened Tutor. I'm taking you some Force of Will action, hum. Hey, Lone Silver Wolf, thanks for 59 months. Appreciate you. What about Third Path? Emery's tempting, Third Path's tempting, Brea's is tempting, Monolith is tempting. Yeah, I'm actually going to draft this. And maybe I'll actually be able to kill somebody. Hey, Black Lotus, there we go. And there's a Saga here. Yeah, let's draft those cards. This is not bad, huh? This is not bad. This is Booster 13 of 18. So we're going to have four more packs after this. The biggest cards we're missing right now are Force of Will and then, like, the Blue Power, right? Ancestor Recall, Time Walk, that sort of thing. Have we seen any doubles? We have not seen any doubles so far. Doubles are possible, though. At least, I haven't seen any doubles that I noticed, right? <laughs> no doubles of the good stuff. Format is going to be pretty bonkers, yeah. I'll take Brazen Borrower and maybe Teferi, maybe Timeless Dragon. Maybe Lorien Revealed. I feel like I don't need this Psy. I'm going to take the Retrofitter. Is Fast Bond good? Fast Bond is great if you can uh, swing it. Our mana's not that good. Yeah, looking at Psy, looking at this Plateau. I think I like making the fourth Splash better. How am I doing playables-wise? I have seven mana sources here. I'm not counting Soul Ring. So we need at least a couple more playables. 
This is indeed supreme, yes. Looking at Seed Shark and Teferi here. I think Seed Shark's got to be great in this format. All right, we're in our final two boosters. Shorkai was really good for me in regular Vintage Cube. Either Spellbomb is really good with Emery. Lelia is like one of those single card win cons that can just win. Then Relapse is great. And then Windswept Teeth can get that plateau. Make the White Splash easier. Right now, I think I'm leaning Lelia and maybe Spellbomb or maybe Karn's good. We have some fast mana. Maybe I want one more, one more thing, you know, one more thing to do with it. Hey, an on color mox. You love to see it. And we're good on playables now, right? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I don't know whether to take the Talisman or the Lotus Petal or the Mystic Confluence for my second pick here. And then we get one final pack after this. I think I want Spellbomb, or Lotus Petal, rather. Mana Crypt Urza. I mean, Fury's still great. We have, like, barely enough red cards for Fury. We could take Fury. A little low on removal. Urza's got to be better, right? It's got to be. Urza's got to be better. Don't need removal if the opponent's dead. Yeah, that's true. This format's awesome. It really is, yeah. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, Ankleosaur, these are 53 months. You gotta look about this format works. 18 packs, you get two picks per pack, and they're all first picks, and then you throw the pack away and get another pack. So the decks just end up really being real busted. You're not drafting against other people, you're just like snagging first picks. I wonder if Emery's too slow. I kind of like the Brazen Borrower's like, actual interaction. I've been told that you can get duplicate cards in this format, yeah. We didn't get any. These are the cards I'm kind of reconsidering, or considering like, if I need them. You didn't notice any duplicates? Yeah, I think they said that there would be. People have been talking about it. Obviously there can't, um... You could have a draft, you could have a draft where you just don't get any. Yeah, I'm really not sure about Emery, but it's sick with Black Lotus and it's sick with Aether Spellbomb. Why is magic so hard? Maybe I don't play Mishra's Bobble. It seems weird. There's just like not enough lands, right? Be nine lands total. Maybe I'll cut to Fairy. Interaction's so good. Yeah, I'm thinking about the pedal. The thing is, like, the pedal is, like, one of my few pieces of fixing. So it's hard to cut it. Revealed might be worse than an island here. I was thinking if I have a bunch of Academy mana, then this, like, drawing cards might be good. I guess it's a shuffle effect for top. Top's kind of good with third path. Five-ish red sources. Not that many red cards. Not very many white sources. I think that's the main reason for cutting Teferi, is we just like don't have that many white sources. Obviously, it's a great card. Feels like not enough blue. I wish I'd nabbed like one more dual land in there somewhere. Obviously, I didn't have like that many extra picks. Once you're like investing a lot of picks in Moxon and stuff, but I had a couple, I ended up with like a couple extra slots. Correct dazed. Uh, they're all first picks, Uncle. This is a Supreme Draft. This is what it is. 
it helps that Urza Saga can find Black Lotus. That makes me feel better about the fourth splash. Hey, Catbeard, sinks the sub, he's up 43 months. Academy is a lot of blue, but you have to draw it, right? We have all these double blues and stuff. So I'm worried about my non-Academy hands with only eight blue. But maybe it's closer to 10 with these cards in here. And Urza also like converts to blue. Let's try this. Yeah, I wonder if the Lurian reveal should just be an island. I think it should be. Maybe. I don't think a shuffle effect for top is that important. Hopefully we get a turn two here, huh? Nice. Now I have a decision point. I can hold up a spell pierce burst lightning or I can play this emery, huh? I guess I've just gotta play it. Emery did find me Black Lotus. Do I get a turn two? Obviously our chances of having a turn two go up dramatically if we hold up Spell Pierce Burst Lightning there. Hey Prince of Gore, thanks for 39 months. Moths have eaten all your clothes. Oh no! Bidding attracts him. This would have been a good card to Spell Pierce. But I guess I still would have gotten attracts in the graveyard. There's <laughs> one of my very few white sources uh, getting exiled there. Who's ready for cheeseburgers? Ah, me, 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 me. No reanimation for the attracts. Um... Let's go, Lelia. Um... Well, there's fourth mana next turn. Could be this turn, I suppose. I'll just be playing it for three. I think we wait. I think we chill. Do we skydiver? Do we kick a burst lightning? I think we play the skydiver. We would not get Monarch correct, but I mean, if it's correct to like <laughs> kill them, it still might be correct to play it. Opponents play the deck with. Discard. Well, at least Lelia got some damage in, drew me a card. Opponent's got a lot more removal than I do. Yes, yeah, see. <laughs> if I have four for three last turn, I'd have eight power in play right now. So just two here. Merktide aim. At least we don't have to worry about that attracts in their bin anymore. I shall take the seven. Proactive format. One of the best cards is Force Will, so sort of, sort of not really. Currently, I don't think the Murktide can serve. Oh, I guess they can make a flyer. So I could block and make a 4 4.
Sweet. That academy coming through, hum. They didn't show me a whole breacher. I'm gonna cut the burst lightning and bring in Brazen Borrower. That's the main reason I like the burst lightning in the main deck. So like you play a draw seven, they flash in whole breacher, you have an answer. Like Lorian more after that game. Yeah, we're not gonna always have the academy. I'm also worried about having a Nolander with Lorian in hand with like Pyrene and Solarian and stuff. It's possible it should be in. I am not confident. Maybe I'm just activating Sagon too. The article they put out said you can get duplicates, Hellman. But we didn't get any. All right, I guess I'm not playing Urza Saga, so I can play the Ur Urza next to turn. I guess that's better. Although Urza Saga leads to... Oh no, they didn't kick. Bummer. Yeah, you gotta pay the mana when you're casting the Skydiver. It's awkward. Could fourth for three. Time Spiral shovels the attracts in. I feel better about this if I had spell pierce um, if I had just had like one artifact up right now. So they've got Flash, Treachery, Exhum, Vamp Tutor, Tidebinder. I think the Tidebinder is the interesting one. Mana Drain, we can spell pierce here. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, cheers, Zalm. I might have to spiral here and try and find a spell bomb for the Atraxa or something. We can, like, Make flyers with Retrofitter Foundry, then sack post block. They got Mana Drain, Treachery, Tidebinder, Exhum, and Island. So these five cards. I wonder if just making constructs is better. What happens if they just block a human knight token and chump here? They stay at the same amount of life. Maybe I serve with construct and see if they chump, like just the construct. We showed them burn spell last game. Kinda dislike tapping my red mana. Maybe tapping wrench if it is better. Well, what, what red spells are we shuffling back in? There's Wheel of Fortune, Third Path, and Lelia. Yeah, let's just tap this. Probably gonna have to tap the retrofitter for Pierce anyway. Losing out on a mana by attacking with the construct? You're not losing out on mana. They're not blocking with the tracks, so they're chumping with retrofitter. Oh, you mean losing out on one mana here? From that I could tap with Urza? Yeah, maybe. Well, next turn I should be able to make a fourth that's, uh... Oh, now they can't activate Retrofit, eh? Because they played the Mana Drain. So they block a Human Knight token. 
that like trades even with the other human knights. This is eight, nine, ten. So we play the mana vault out. Well, I should have tapped the bobble, maybe. It doesn't matter. And then I think they have to jump a Traxa here. Like that. Yeah, if we live till next turn, if our hand survives till next turn, we'll have a very large fourth. Oh, Traxa has Death Touch. Interesting. <laughs> very necessary. Very necessary uh, ability on that card. Hey, Zuggernaut, thinks it's 64 months. You have the same reaction after playing tracks 50 times, right? So many games. So many games. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Just doesn't come up very often, huh? GG. A lot that can go wrong with this hand. Yeah, why not, Bill? Let's give that Caleb DMTG a, a, a shot. Points on a mold of five. They were looking for gas, sure. Gotta get my stuff down just in case they play a draw seven, hum. Ooh, Mentor's good. Like better iconoclast. Is this format stippable? I've done stips in this format before. This is the second blue source waiting room, hum. Yeah, right, so no, it is pretty addicting. It's kind of like Omniscience draft format. You just want to see how busted of a deck you can get. God damn it. Please, Dak, please. It's a bummer. I was hoping to get value out of it. Ever. <laughs> Urza would still stabilize this board, huh? Now if we get that blue source, we can go Narset and plus Wheel of Fortune. Life total's a little iffy with his mana crypt. Can I Urza into it, into the Narset Wheel of Fortune? I don't think so, right? Because I Urza, and then I would have four or five mana. I mean, the Narset could find me a, a mana. Oh, I won't have the, the double blue if I Urza. Yes, yeah, this Narset Wheel.
Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Avenger, thanks for the 22 months. Appreciate you. The Supreme stream, you know it. Yeah, now the concern is winning before the Man Crypt kills me. We don't really have a way to get rid of it. Oh my god. We serve all in, they block, block, take five, go to, I guess I can't serve with the third path. Yeah, this whole game comes down to whether or not we can win this uh, Mana Crypt flip here. Just lost a couple in a row. Come on. Woo! And then the fourth gives me lethal. Phew. That fucking game, hum. We were waiting for that second blue source so long. <laughs> it took so long. But when we got there, we did get to combine Narset and Wheel of Fortune. And it was sweet. What dealt one damage? The uh, Mana Vault. When, Mana Vault. when you leave Mana Vault tapped, it deals you one. For us, we decided to leave it tapped. Because the first turn that we untapped, we had three life. And three life kills you for Mana Crypt anyway. And their creatures weren't dealing me damage, so. Hello? Yeah, we're not on the play, huh? The fucking dream on the play. You can tap artifact soldiers to Terza. Any artifact. Do I get to have my hand? Sure. Yeah, this could probably clear the final boss in Chandelier, huh? There's a question here, like, whether I want to run out stuff or hold up Burst Lightning. I feel like I want to hold up the Burst Lightning. There is a Saga's Little ahead of mine. Very out of mine. It feels like Pest Infestation would be insane. With the way these games are playing out, it might just be one of the better cards. Oh, they also discarded a fourth. They're also on that. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose that time walk. That's what I think. Oh, hello. 
Oh, we don't have a second blue source. All right, next turn. Next turn we have the hookup. Leading on desk made sense, but like getting my saga down also made sense, right? I think this is fine. You could chill and wait for them to spend mana equipping the Umazawas. I feel like they've got like a ton of extra mana, a ton of colorless mana here. So I don't think that matters very much. And they didn't have a counter spell on my turn when I was resolving stuff. So it made sense to me to get my Brazen Borrower in while I could. And all of a sudden, we just have enough blue mana. Doesn't look bad, huh? Doesn't look bad. Now we can make uh, another construct, play the Brazen Borrower. A pretty good, pretty good board here. It'd be cool to get Saga rolling, but I think I wanted to play the turn two Lelia, so I'm just gonna go turn one Sol Ring here. Pretty tame opener for me, but maybe the Lelia finds me more power, huh? It does feel like vintage, yes. And sometimes it feels more busted. And now we have a choice between Island Preordain or running out the saga so we can start activating it. I think I dig the saga here. Little army in a can action. There's fewer force of wills than vintage. Clocking them seems good. It really does, huh? With their mana crypt down and everything. And we're not going to crack this bobble because it does boost Thurza Saga. Oh, interesting. They got Ulamog in there. Maybe some sneak attack. Goodness. No taxing effects. You can play Thalia if you want. Thalia's good in this format. But it's just the one. <laughs> just the one taxing effect. Club Reacher's indeed in, yeah. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. Lodestone Golem not in, yeah. That was a good one for this. I almost wish Reb and Pyro Blasts were in. Just growing layers of Saga and also setting up for a juicy Wheel of Fortune if we decide to do that next turn. Keeping that extra mana on top. Opponent's Mana Crypt's treating them well. Green, is that a Minskin Boo deck? Is that a channel deck? <laughs> yeah, right, Stagzilla. <laughs> Hopefully they cycle them in at some point. Fair enough. They probably wanted to play it pre-combat in case they did draw like a Minsk. I guess they hadn't decided they wanted to play it yet. I hope the Seed Shark gets to pop off with Academy. 
Play Black Lotus, plus two mana academy. Play Lotus Petal, plus two mana. Just gotta remember to animate the Saga Hum. Soul Ring is green. Retrofitter. Spell Bomb. Retrofitter might be sick here. I guess it just, turns, get, just gets turned into a 3 3. Yeah, maybe Aether Spellbomb's good. It gets to, like, protect my stuff from Oko. This Retrofitter does look sick, though, right? Yeah, fuck it. How much power do we get? Uh, there's, like, I think, like, five pieces in here. Time Twister, please. Well, we could fourth here. Is that what I want to do? Crack Black Lotus, Crack Lotus Petal. Men come before orcs. Zoom. Oh, they all go face. I think they all go face. Big egg, fucking huge egg, hum. I don't know, you think you're supposed to clear Yoko? I don't, they've got that mana crypt there. Yeah, it's so much trampley damage. Yeah, they literally might die to mana crypt now. Fourth, the new power. Fourth is so good. No, they lived! The good news is, even if they sneak attack me, I, can, I do have some cards to sack to Annihilate Aim. Eh? I'm worried about, like, Grizzlebrand plus Emrakul or something. Like, that's... Hey, you probably basics for 21 months. We're beefing, which is bad, because you aren't supposed to have red meat, or can you? Uh, I can have red meat now. Yeah, I took some months off. from red meat and booze, but back on it. Cool. Should I bring bringing Baze and Braze Bar yet again? I think Burst Lightning looks good against them. I'm gonna leave it in. Maybe the Emery should be Braze and Bar. Hand looks totally reasonable, right? I'm gonna send it back. Brutal Elitist Culture Snom. Best of luck taking care of all that. The same kind of sucks. I guess I keep it. Hey, do the toy. Cheers to six years. And one of the issues with this hand is that the Wheel of Fortune is probably going to be better for the opponent than for me anyway. Maybe I was supposed to go to five. Hey, Frylock, takes the 58 months. Oh, new hand anyway. Frylock says, get that trophy. Trying. The opponent is not being cooperative. <laughs> Y'all think this is a much better hand? We have no... Color sources for a fourth. 
This is kind of just like a lot of mana and, uh, and air. We'll see though. Maybe Emery can find me a Lotus. Fifty percent of fourth acquired. Yeah, I mean, if we untap with the Emery, we can crack pedal for red and then rebuy, crack it for white. It doesn't look like we're untapping with Emery here. A little bit worried about their creatures just being larger than fourth tokens, too. If I draw a Black Lotus, it won't matter, because we'll be just producing so much, but... Yeah, I hate that for me. At least they're not being Saga, I guess. Oh, she went up. Hey, Yerifel, at least the seven months. Humoring you? Oh, you're humoring me, friend. No. Fuck. Yeah, I meant to fourth there and clear the Oko. But then I played my island for turn and realized I fucked up. Throwing for content. I mean, we still probably lose this game even though I clear the Oko there, but maybe it's a little bit less impossible, huh? How goes the cubing? Pretty well, Jay Grash. Supreme cube. Pretty busted stuff. Everyone's got soul rings and moxin and such. Yeah, we're here in the finals. Up a game, but this game's not looking great. Am I dead on the crack bank? Five plus five is ten. Yeah. If we had a higher life total, if we were at like 20 here, we could serve all at their face and maybe make something work. Even that seems unlikely because they can hold back next turn and this turns into a 3-3. And they can like eat, eat and trade off. So they only would have taken 10. Yeah, without time walking my 40 cards here, this seems like a real hard one to win. Maybe we can spin top into Spiral. Found a channel. The goblin can attack, give them a treasure. Mox diamond just to pump the construct. Get an incubator. My shark has been awkwardly good for them. Yeah, this game goes so much better if I land the fourth that one turn and clear the Oko. Because then they don't have this shark and these three incubator tokens, so their construct would just be a 4 4. And they wouldn't have those. Just like a lot. <laughs> just like just so much better. <laughs> if I don't fuck that up. Am I feeling supreme? I am, yes.
This hand's so tempting, but I think I gotta send it back. There's so many, like, rips that just make this hand busted. Like, any zero mana artifact, and then Saga's activating on two. And the Saga can go get Black Lotus. Okay, okay. I thought the last hand was close. I thought it was close, too. Maybe it's good enough on the draw. Might still be in a rough spot with this Saga, um, oh, they still have the mana to activate Saga this next turn. I guess Retrofitter can get to a place where we kind of control it, right, and do some block sacks. Doodle do doodle do Maybe I should have activated Retrofitter there. I've heard that. I've heard that this game was hard as shit. I never played it. Someone requested this song as a song request once a long time ago, though, and I was like, this track fucking rules. <sighs> Developing a cube list specific re specifically designed for Supreme Cube would be interesting. I put a lot of like hyper interactive spells, like Red Elemental Blast and, um, and Pithing Needle. We have stuff to do with our mana drain mana. If you crack the Mishra's Bobble, you don't have a... You're shrinking your academy, big titty goth girlfriend. That Bobble is like a mock Sapphire in play right now with his academy. I wouldn't want to, like, draw a card that's worse than mock Sapphire here, huh? I guess there's not very many cards that are bad in this spot. Do I like the block sack? I think I'm just going to take five, make a 1-1, one, one, start juicing up the academy. I think that's fine. It might have been Big Titty. It might even be correct based because of the fact that there's just like not very many duds in the deck. I like leaving it down, though. If I draw two lands here, I feel silly. You need to generate packs via computer. I don't think you'd have to generate packs via computer. Just shuffle up a big old fucking stack of cards with a bunch of duplicates in it. No duds. Get 20 sets of power. Yeah, I have that proxied out. My current cube has two sets of power in it. I think if you did a regular cube with like <laughs> three of each set of power or something, that'd be pretty fucked up.
awesome. Leave in the servo bank so I can block sack without using my counterspell mana. I want to let that resolve. Minskin Boo is indeed still good in this format. I don't know, McLovin. It's the main theme from Separation Anxiety. So you can Google who the artist from that game was. You might just not be able to find it on Spotify. Oh, hell yeah. If we can live this turn, huh? They did just Time Twister, so they might have found Time Walk again. Gotta buy the game and beat it to see the credits, yeah. We can fourth for more here, but if they have like force of will or whatever, I still want to be able to narset wheel. In fact, maybe I'll narset wheel anyway. <laughs> if I was like, you know what? No, done. Fuck you. And <laughs> you don't get to do that. This game's over. <laughs> But I had so much fun left to have. Cool. Good start to the season, huh? And now we got more folks here. So we can see the sweet, sweet draft portion. Yeah, so it says up here, booster one out of 18. There's going to be.